Hello everyone, this is Vishwas and uh, welcome back to our Webpack series. And uh, as a part of today's video, we will be discussing on Webpack Dev Server. To understand the Webpack Dev Server, let's move to the VS Code and first understand how exactly we are running our application now and what are the different issues we have in that. Now in VS Code, we are continue working on our Webpack plugin application. And uh, if you look at my dist folder, right? Currently, we are able to move all the asset into the final bundle. And whenever I want to run my application, I just go to the respective HTML file and open that in browser, right? That means if you go here and uh, look at the path, you will see the HTML file is loaded from dist folder, right? And our application is working fine. But now if you look at our current implementation, whenever I do any changes in my files, right? Whether it is a HTML file, uh, JavaScript or CSS, right? Each time I need to recreate my build and see the updated changes, right? And it is not a convenient way to run the webpack manually right when we are doing actual implementation or when we are doing the development also if you look at my current url right the application is served from my code itself right and this is not recommended way we should have some server that run our application and we can resolve both these issues with the help of Webpack Dev Server. So let's understand that with the help of implementation. For that, I will go to terminal and uh, install the new package that is Webpack Dev Server. For that, I will do npm install, then uh, Webpack Dev Server, and uh, I will install it as a dev dependency. Let's wait until it's complete. Now our package is successfully installed. As a part of initial step, we don't require any changes in our webpack config file to run the dev server. So let's go to the package.json and add one more script here. The script name I will give start here as I'm starting my application locally. And uh, then we need to use webpack and then serve command. So webpack dev server internally uses the webpack to serve application. And uh, here I will use one more flag that is open. Open means when I execute this command and when your content gets created, it will auto open your browser and show the application. Now run the command npm start. So it will it will create the content and uh, open your browser automatically. See, it's opening the browser and um, browser will take some time to load the content and uh, it will show your application. So currently we will see some error here because by default we are running our application in production mode and for production mode, it provide us the uh, recommendation to optimize our resources further. So we will look into it, but uh, at least you will see our application is loading on local host port number 8080 and uh, you will see our application is working as expected, right? But this is with Webpack dev server and uh, it is running on one particular server. And now if you go here to remove those warning, I will run my application in development mode and now we need to see our actual result right whenever we made any changes in our content we should see our page get sort of reloaded right for that let me go here and uh, if you look at my explore more button right the text of my button is green for now and uh, for the demo purpose, we will change the color of it to the red. 
for that let's go to the respective css file that is style.css and uh, if you look at here my button color is now green right and uh, i will change it to the red for now and uh, save my changes right and now if i go here you will see our page is auto reloaded and uh, the text color gets changed to red right that means our dev server is working as expected and uh, it will resolve both our issues the first one is auto reload with the help of hot module replacement and the second one it will run our application on some server and uh, that is recommended way right now to understand more on webpack dev server like you might be thinking that the content are served from the dist folder right but to understand more let me delete the dist folder for now now we deleted dist folder and i will run my application again for that i will do npm start now we are running our application in development mode it will open our browser and uh, now we will don't see any error and our application is working as expected right and uh, if i go here that means inspect the element and look for the content where it is coming from it is directly coming from local host right so it is not coming from any dist folder or from anywhere in the hard disk right the content are stored in the memory and uh, that is generated at runtime and uh, served to the user also if you go to the second page and uh, look for our images everything is coming from the memory itself also if you want to configure dev server in much better way we can configure that with the help of webpack config file like currently my application by default running on port number 8080 but if you want to run that on specific port right i can also do that for that let's go to the webpack config file and uh, i need to add one property here and uh, that property name is dev server and uh, i will add port here suppose if i give 300 and um, save the changes let me go to view and open the terminal and uh, run again now if you look at here application will run on port number 3000 i think this is all about the dev server uh, it help us to resolve the multiple issues and uh, now it will make our development much more easier that means if you change any of the file uh, it immediately reflect the changes for us and uh, we can make our development much more faster also if you talk about any of the single page applications right if you go with any framework like angular or Vue or uh, react their cli having inbuilt configuration for auto reloading the pages right and all those clis almost internally using the webpack dev server i think that's all for today's video we successfully installed webpack dev server and uh, resolve a couple of issues from our application and now we can make our development much more faster that's all thank you for watching this video See you in next one. Till now, thank you. Bye.